366 Days with Wisdom by Venerable Master Xingyun. July 30th, Ignorance and delusion originated from our grasping nature. So, to cultivate the Dharma, one should begin with cultivating no ego. Let go of the body and mind to achieve no ego, and the light of the true principle will shine in your heart. What is the piece of rock pressing on our heart? Depression, worries, sorrow, resentment, unhappiness, anxieties, and especially grievances are even heavier than rocks. If we do not let go of these things, the pressure on our mind is too heavy and our life will be really miserable. The rock within and without our heart should be left to us alone to remove. Others are unable to help. The help offered by others such as counselling, consolation and encouragement is temporary. Today, others might help you remove the rock from your heart, but tomorrow and the day after, new rocks will be deposited. Some of the new rocks are not moved there by others, but created by ourselves. Whether we let go of the rock or remove it, the most important thing is to follow the saying that whoever ties the knot on the bell is the one to untie it. The best way to remove the rock from your heart is to learn the Dharma using precepts, concentration and wisdom. Use the Eightfold Noble Path to resolve the rock in your heart. If it is the rock in front of you, outside the heart, you can use wisdom, compassion, loving kindness, and making affinity to change the external rock. Once that external rock embraces the change in you, then that rock will no longer exist as a piece of rock. Read, reflect, and act. The heavy encumbrances in our heart can only be removed by ourselves. The best way to remove the rocks from our heart is to learn the Dharma using precepts, concentration, and wisdom. Please tune in same time tomorrow as we meet on air.